What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? In this game, I have 3DB as the Byzantines spawning in the northwest of Rocky... Rocky Mines? No. Rocky River. There you go. Sorry. Completely forgot the second half of that. And then spawning in the southeast as our blue English player is Vortex. I am extremely excited to be casting this game. 3DB is easily one of my favorite players. He's extremely creative. And with the way that the Byzantines are, I am extremely excited to see what he does with them. They are very versatile in terms of what they could potentially do. Like if they go more with a mercenary style play, if they're going to go more into the olive oil, um, or if he's going to try to go a little bit more of a standard play style with the Imperial Hippodrome. I, I, I'm just really excited to see what he's going to do. Already he's going more gold focused, which is a little weird, but he is going on to the berries right off the rip as well. As for our English player, Vortex, he is going straight for the pawns. Keep in mind that the pawns have been nerfed. There's only two shoreline fish now instead of the four that there were pre-patch. I will add, or I do have to add, that this game is a part of the EGC TV tournament. A link will be down below. I'm not casting the full series or anything like that. I've been trying to avoid uh, casting any of their games today. I will be posting two though. Game one of the Mista against, oh, wow. I can't remember who he played against right now, but one of the games is going to be with the Mista against, oh, Louis MT, and then this game as well. Uh, link in the, uh, there'll be a link in the description for both of those. So you can go and watch the full series once you are done here, of course. But considering like I said, 3DB is one of my favorite players since he is so creative and he's also playing the Byzantine. I really wanted to cast this game. I wanted to see firsthand what he does and what he's capable of. A little bit of a difference though coming out of him than what we normally see. He's already gotten his 200 gold going down into the Imperial Hippodrome. I don't believe that's in the radius. Or it's in the radius, but I don't think it's in the influence. It's not giving us the influence at all. For the cistern. He did go for... He has it swapped over to the dialectus. So is he going to be... I'm not entirely sure what 3DB is doing here. He has four on wood at the moment, which is perfectly fine that way he'd be able to get his house down of course so he doesn't get supply blocked but other than that like i'm not really sure usually you would see a second cistern coming up and potentially even a third coming up during the age of council hall very standard coming down for our english player i'm i'm thoroughly confused as to what is going to be happening here This is such a strange opener. We'll see what he does, though. Lumber mill and a uh, lumber camp and a house coming down to the north. Is he going to move these villagers over to? No, he has them split up two to food and then the two back to gold. I uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what 3DB is doing at all. Because if I remember, let's see, what's it at? 23 seconds? But it is swapped over to Dialectus. I don't think it's in range. Maybe, yeah. Ex Expel Expelatoris is, I think that's a 20 second. I believe that's a 20 second um, upgrade. So it is in within range, but he has it under Dialectus, Mercenary Camp or Mercenary House coming down as well. And that is going to be in the influence range of the second cistern. 
So it looks like he was just going to be going with a standard opener, 7-3, except in this case he went 7-2, or well, 8-2, and then into wood. And we do see the Silk Road getting picked up as well. First villager might be going down. He does have access to Triumph if necessary. No Expellators yet. And now the first set of Javelin Throwers will be coming out for 3DB. And keep in mind, Triumph did get nerfed quite significantly as well. Upon age of, or upon completion, it no longer has the 30 Triumph points. It only has 10. The duration has also been reduced from 1.5 seconds per point to one second per point. So on age up, you only have 10 seconds worth of triumph compared to the 45 seconds you had prior to the patch nerf. 3DB is sitting currently sitting on three horsemen. He is going to be rotating around, applying a little bit of pressure while Vortex moves out with five longbows, three spears to do the exact same thing. One of these horsemen might actually get picked right now as well. A lot of damage does go on to it, brings it to almost half health as the rest of the horsemen are rotating to the eastern side of Vortex's base to see if they're able to grab anything. It doesn't look like he will be able to. The bell rings and the first few shots do go off. Vortex is idling seven, was seven, was idling seven villagers as well. He has a little bit of an army over here sitting back to defend against any kind of attack. The four javelin throwers are out there. They will start putting damage onto the longbows. First longbow is about to go down and there's already been a little bit of damage onto one of the first or onto one of the spearmen as well. 3DB has moved out to start grabbing the second uh, the second berry patch and now we have the rest of 3db's army coming in for a side flank unable to because vortex decides to gather his army all at once these three javelin throwers are not going to be able to fight this even with the maculate micro they are not going to be able to deal enough damage to kill off these longbows first javelin thrower does go through does go down three javelin throwers to 10 longbows Still not enough, still not enough olive oil for 3db to grab his second set quite yet. I think for something like this, it would have been better if 3db did just go for the Grand Winery instead of the Imperial Hippodrome and then going into a stables. If all he's planning on doing is just producing, uh, producing horsemen out of there, yeah, the. Don't get me wrong, the Triumph ability is still strong, it just doesn't last anywhere near as long. But he is trying to focus more on the Olive Oil, so the Grand Winery in that case would have been a lot better because he would have been able to place the Grand Winery on top of the berries and start getting a lot more Olive Oil off of that. Plus he would also be sitting on potentially four Cistern at least at the bare minimum, level four cistern. He's currently on three. These villagers are way too far out to even drop a cistern. That's going to be about, I'd say, 60 stone to segment the the aqueducts to a cistern right here. And then that's it. That's going to be, that's a pretty crappy cistern. <laughs> All by its lonesome over here. For this berry patch and then a couple uh, a couple trees, I, I don't think that would have been worth it at all. But he doesn't have any other options, realistically. We see him about to grab the berries at the southwest as well. These fishing boats should be running out of food pretty soon. There's only 20 left and then these boats will get deleted as soon as they start idling. And look at this little palings formation that we have going on for vortex to protect his gold 13 longbows just chilling here surrounding their villagers making sure that no horseman could get in in order to do any damage castle age will be getting dropped pretty soon for vortex he's almost there just a few a few hundred resources off actually only 100 gold off at this point 
the next drop off from gold or excuse me from food would be able to let him age up and we see him grab venturing off and grabbing more of the uh, berry bushes out here that's a really nice spawn right here for the berries they're so close to each other he could drop a single outpost right here and that'll protect both of them as well king's palace is getting dropped for vortex next to his gold we'll be able to protect the gold and the berries he could have actually put it up here in order to better secure them better secure all three of his resources either way though that's going to be sufficient that's going to be more than enough to hold this off hold off any aggression age up is almost up for oh that was a little bit of damage on those javelin throwers good thing they have ranged armor and then the age up for 3db 3db will be coming up within the next minute or so We'll see if he's going to go into the Golden Horn or Gold Horn Tower or if he's going to go into the um, the Cistern of the First uh, Cistern of the First. Wow. Something. I can't remember the full name of it. The Cistern of the First Flask. I don't believe that's right, but we'll go with it for now. Veteran C is coming through for Vortex. Golden Tower is the age up or is the landmark of choice in order to age up. Only seven villagers currently on it. And we'll see if he's if 3DB is going to go straight into uh, Veteran C for his mercenary house or if he's just going to be staying on the regular one for a while just so he could get a larger amount of javelin throwers. Because as, keep in mind, your your golden tower only produces units uh mercenary units that are available to you so the moment you go into your veterancy it's gonna start switching between your javelin throwers and in this case well in this case since he did go for the silk road route it'll be your javelin throwers or the camel riders you have a 50 50 chance of getting one or the other in this situation you're going to want javelin throwers so you may delay your veterancy as i'm saying that he instantly goes into a veterancy queue to get those camel riders longbows are pushing out alongside the spears a total of 10 javelin throwers are out for 3db Ooh, no stutter step micro really coming out he could have potentially picked off two of the spears that were there and we do have a potential rep around coming through for 3db with his horsemen they were scouted out by the random man at arms that was back there and now we have we do have a bit of a little fight going on triumph does get pop javelin throwers are picking off the archers and a couple of them a, a little bit better micro could have been could have came out from 3db in order to just pick off the javelin thrower or excuse me the spears and then just let the horsemen deal with the longbows but instead, he was just picking off longbows with the javelin throwers and allowing the horsemen to tank a ton of damage from those spears. And now we try up this still or Triumph was still active for a little bit right there. And 3DB is chasing down the remaining amount of longbows. That number was sitting at about 20 ish and it's been whittled down to 12 now but it is because there have been a lot of longbows being produced in the back of this and now 3db is under the king's palace still trying to pick off a couple units horsemen are here in order to do a little bit more damage and take a little bit of damage as well man at arms are slowly coming out for vortex he's currently sitting on six and the horsemen are in the back line now they are going to get pulled off though 3db should be backing off fairly soon because he's not gonna be able to take this fight he is taking a lot of damage being very very aggressive with those javelin throwers still trying to pick off as many longbows as he can while these man at arms from our english player are increasing the number the first few cataphracts are out now for 3db as well they are very very tanky and we should see a trample coming through on those man at arms they do get increased damage down onto them now the cataphracts were able to scare off the remaining longbows and these cataphracts are going to be able to sit under 
these uh, under the town center and the king's palace for a significant amount of time they are very very tanky the last few longbows have been picked off as well a relic is coming through javelin throwers are still streaming in wololo is going off nice response is he going to be able to convert anything no he is not but that would have been one hell of a conversion gg gets called game goes to 3db oh my gosh that was amazing thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it enjoyed it at uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and i'll see you next time